You see, I initially thought the garage lights were just controlled down here. But I found out later they're controlled here too. And I didn't realize that initially. That's why I got a regular lit single pole light switch for this. Okay, I went back to the store, got the right one, and all is good to go. And I've never installed, I've never reinstalled a three-way lighted switch. I think I've installed, well, maybe I have, hasn't been for a while, but these are wired up a little bit different and there's different wiring, different screws in here and stuff. So you gotta make sure you get a three-way switch whenever you get someplace where you've got a switch controlling in two locations to a light, okay? So I'm almost ready to get going. Okay, so I finally found the right breaker on that and it's a good thing. It's a good thing I checked that. Two circuits. Two circuits in this location. Ah, I got some barking dogs out here. I'll wait for them to walk past. Okay, I think the dog excitement's over. Take the switch plate off. And I've got both circuits off right now. Yeah, sometimes you get that. Now let's see if this is stuck to the wall. Sometimes you can just tap on this and get it loose because they just repainted, you know, fairly recent. And you know what, before, before I take this off, I'm gonna put a little pencil mark on the top and bottom of that. And that'll kind of tell me about where the next one should go. And I can, I can adjust it too, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, now go ahead and undo these screws. Sometimes they have little washers, little cardboard washers on the back side that hold. And see this one, this one had the little washer. And the washer's still on this one, but eventually it's probably gonna pull off. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this out of the wall like that. Okay, and what you're gonna, you're, what you're gonna find is you should have two, wow, look at that. You should have two black wires here and a red wire and the ground wire. And I do, but it's a good thing I'm doing this because this black wire is split on the back side and the copper is showing. So I've got, just happen to have some electrical tape. Before I do that, I, see I've got all the power off, so I'm fine. Just gonna take this ground screw, loosen that, and, and widen this on the back so I can try to get it off without cutting the ground wire itself. That's, that's long enough to where I can probably grab it. Usually I can get my screwdriver in there and bring it out wide enough. See, it's got a, it's got a loop-de-loo on it. You see the loop on it? Well, it's got one.
I'll just kind of get that ground wire over here and out of the way a little bit. I can, I can reuse that loop, I believe, on that. So now I can just take this and flip it over. And see, there's some screws on the back side. And I've got to look at this carefully to see how they've wired it. Because they've got the, uh, the red wire up here. I would have thought the red wire should go where that black screw is down there. But they've got it up at the top by itself. So when I look at my new switch, you see here's a gold wire, gold screw. Here's another gold screw. And here's kind of a different screw that's black. Okay. And I'm going to rewire it the exact same way as they got it. Okay, so their red, their red wire is up next to the screw that's all by itself. Okay, the screw that's all by itself here. See these two, I'll put the black wires down there. I'll put the red wire up here. Now the black wires, it doesn't really matter which one goes to which. Okay. I don't think. Usually it doesn't. And I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything different. And you can install it on the back side of this screw with a little loop. Or on this particular switch, see how that little metal thing comes out, slips out a little bit right there. Well, you could take the, you could take the wire and put it right in there if you want. Right like that. And then you can clamp the screw down. Or you can put the wire in the back. There's a little hole right here. And there's a little slot next to the hole that you can put a little tiny screwdriver and that'll take the spring tension off of the wire so you can pull it out. And that's what they've done here. See, they didn't use the, the wires, the screws on the back, did they? They used them up here. And so I've got to take my screwdriver and push in and hold my mouth just right. Come on and pull. Hey, there's my red wire. There's my red wire there. And my black wires, I've got to push in there and do the same thing. It's kind of, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, I, I see it. This might, this I might have to put my screwdriver a different direction. Let's see here. See, and I'm, I'm trying to use, I'm trying to get it out of what they had before here. And if I can't get it, I'll just have to cut it off and then restrip the wires. I can do that too. I was trying to do it so I could, so I could get this out. It's not, it's not, doesn't seem like it's going to come. I'll try it that way. No. It looks like those slots are just slightly, slightly different. I'll keep trying here. I'm able to do it. Okay, okay, there. See how it came out? I just had to push down on it and I felt it. I heard it click. It's almost like my screwdriver's not or is too big to push in there. 
And the last thing, oh, there it goes, okay, there. These, I had to put the screwdriver in sideways the other direction. That way, this one I had to put going from left to right. Wow. Okay. So that's what you should have so far. Okay.